I thought today we'd have a, a, go at a really simple uh, little picture with a, just a little boat, just using a few colours and um, get a, a kind of misty scene and uh, just try and make it look very atmospheric and uh, let's see see how we go. So I'm going to start with some pale blue I'm just using the side of the uh, pastel stick there and I'm just working some of that colour into the tooth of the paper. I've worked around the little boat there As you can see, as I'm putting this on here, there's, there, there are patches of bare paper showing through it. That's fine at this stage. We're not trying to do the sky in one go. And I'm going to mix with that uh, some of the, uh, the lighter of the blue violets. So all these colours that I'm putting in the sky here will be reflected in the water that's uh, down here. So that's why I'm bringing the colours right the way down. So it's a fairly even tone across the whole paper at the moment. I'm going to mix all those colours now, blend them into the tooth of the paper. So as I'm blending this, I have slightly gone over the boat, but that's not a problem. We can take that off. So it's just the fingertips, little circles, pressing fairly hard. Okay, I'm going to add uh, a little bit of darker colour just towards the top. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of grey just a tiny bit of grey with that and I'm going to work that in push it right into the corners So that's the uh, a layer of colour into the sky. It's a little bit patchy in one or two places, so we're going to work back into that now and just uh, build it up a little bit. Just blend that colour in. You can see I'm using the side of my hand to do it. It's just a, it makes it a little bit quicker, really. That's all. We've got this lovely kind of even tone from top to bottom. I'm now going to uh, bring in a little bit of pink just to create a little light in the sky in the distance there. And I'm just going to use my little finger, tiny little circles, and just soften it. little touch of violet and a little touch of pink with that and touch more of that violet just in here see my boat is pointing into the picture so I'm trying to get these sort of clouds or this this little bit of light to be where the boat is pointing towards Just lightly soften those in. I'm just going to bring that colour a little bit further down into there. So you can keep doing this, you can keep going back in and adding more colour until you fill the tooth 
up and you'll know when you get to that stage because you'll try putting the color on and you'll feel it slide and that's the point where you you can't go any further with it I'm just bringing out this little highlight now That'll do. And I'm going to put a little watery sun just in here. Using the white Caran d'Ache Super Soft Pastel Pencil. That's a little bit too strong. So what I'm going to do is just lightly soften it to make it look a little more misty. That's better. And just pick out a little highlight. Right, so a little bit of tape. And it's the bottom of the tape that will be the horizon line. So the tape will not stick to your picture where you've got pastel. So you stick it to your board on either end. Right, I'm going for the white pastel. I'm going to put the colour on the tape. So it's strongest around the boat there. And then out towards the sides, I'm going to just introduce a bit of pink and a little bit of dark out to the edges. And then all I'm going to do is put my finger flat on here and pull that colour straight down. So I'm pulling it from this tape to this tape. And what's what'll happen is as you pull the colour down, it'll mix with the colour that's on the paper here and it will gradually fade. But you've got to come straight down, otherwise it will look odd. So having done that, just lightly Give it a bit of sheen and you can lift your tape and it gives you that lovely clean horizon line. I'm going to use the double ended pencil eraser to um, take off some of the colour that's uh, on where the boat is at the moment. So I'm going to use the red end There's two ends on here, there's a red end and a grey end. The red end is the slightly harder end. But you can just remove the colour back to uh, bare paper. So, for my boat, I'm going to start with the top line. It comes around and just goes up over there. That line comes back there. So that's the highlight on that top edge. I'm going to put a little bit of white just here. Just a little highlight on the back of the boat and a little bit of a shine. A highlight on the side of the boat there. I'm going to come in with some orange. Gradually getting darker, each colour, each tone is, is getting darker. So I'm working from dark across to light. Of course, it will be really dark underneath here because it will all be in shadow. A little bit of dark on the inside as well.
and I'm going to go to the very dark brown this is the 408 make the pencil stroke follow the contours or the, the way the timber lines would run on the boat. Okay, a little bit of black. red on there as well and then I'm going to use the color shaper to blend all those colors together I'm working from the dark on the left hand side across just smudging the color across so you get this lovely gradual transition from dark. So you've got dark against the light background here, and then you've got light against the, the side of the boat, which is dark again. So you've got a nice bit of counter change going on. And I'm just gonna pick that color and pull it outwards. So, I'm going to put a little bit of shingle now, a little bit of a, a beachy area underneath the, uh, the boat. I'm going to start with uh, the 047 pencil on its side. So we're actually using the side of the point. What will happen, the paper has a, a textured surface. So if you can keep that point flat, you'll get this lovely texture coming through where the the color is sitting on the tops of the little bumps but it's not going down into the little hollows just pressing a little harder towards the bottom of the picture here I'm just leaving this little pathway going in so gradually getting darker so I'm going to use a little bit of red deep red I'm going to use a little bit of green just to give the hint of sort of seaweed All done with the pencil on its side. Now I'm going to go in with the dark brown. This is the 408. And I'm just going to look for some little light areas and just put a, a couple of little dark marks just under the bottom edge just to help them to stand up like uh, little stones or slightly bigger rocks and switch to the black and I'm going to put a little bit of rope up to a little mooring boy there and 
and I'm just going to reflect a little bit of that into the water as well. And then I'm going to touch the bottom edge of that and just pull that down to create a bit of a reflection. And a little hint of light. So we've got our little sun here. So just beneath that. So you get that lovely sparkle. Again, it's the paper that's doing the work for you. Just that little hint of light just on there. So there you have a very simple little picture, very quickly done, little boat, just using a few colours. Um, hope you enjoyed that and I'll catch up with you again soon. Thank you.